What's up everyone? Nico Villegas here of AutoIndustry.com and we're here for another episode of Celebrity Car Check. So you've got a clue who's with us right now. One of the best dads ever, <laughs> our colleague in the motoring industry, and of course, everybody's favorite Tito. <laughs> Is it time? I think so. It's Tito O'Clock, the one and only, the legendary James Deacon. What's, what's up? up? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Thanks for having me on the show. Super happy to be here. Yep, so few questions what we do with celebrity card check first up we've got behind us mm -hmm. in the rain mm -hmm. 2022 mg hs trophy, trophy edition absolutely yeah that's the that's their latest model and uh it's my newest ride so i just got it it's barely about a month old seen it on instagram yeah first question why the color uh well why the color um i like I like it clean, all mm -hmm. right? I mean, I was looking at that original blue they had. Like, I don't know what blue they call it, but mm -hmm. it's like the Mexico blue of Porsche. Yep. But day to day, I don't think I could live with it. It's, it's great in the brochures, great in the pictures, but I don't know, day to day, I think white is still a, a very practical color for yeah. me. And then because I like the windows tinted, I don't really like it with like a uh, different type of color. I like the contrast yeah. of the black and white. Um, another question coming from your old van, mm -hmm. why? kind of downsized to this oh, car? Oh, very good question. Well, things change, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when I had the van before, that was pre-pandemic, it served its purpose. It was a wonderful vehicle, but times change, people change. Yep. Our situation changed. Mm -hmm. I also uh, no longer have a driver and okay. it's not a lot. I love that van, but yeah. not to drive it. Yeah. it it's <laughs> exactly. like, I felt like a UV Express. Mm -hmm. um, it had the big tall uh, roof as well, yeah. which made it very, very impractical to enter parking lots, etc. So without a driver, mm -hmm the van was no longer um it didn't it wasn't didn't yeah, make it a case for itself your lifestyle no not wise, at all yeah. then as the pandemic shifted more to a work from home and stuff like that i figured i need to be on the road a lot less yeah so it didn't justify having the driver full time anymore so therefore it was a car i needed to drive myself I see. and i was looking for something compact all right next question um mods that you've done with a car so far, I haven't really touched anything yet, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean to say that I won't. So <laughs> I've only got the, the tint in there, mm -hmm. um, the 3M tint. That's something I think that's important for our climate, um, also for privacy, etc. Yes. I prefer to have it. Uh, but I haven't touched anything else except the uh, dash cam. Yeah, um, we're also an advocate of uh, yes, dash cam. Yes, that's usually yeah. the first thing I put in. Um, I'm actually in the moment of just putting a new one in. So I just yeah. put one in. I installed it, but then a better one came up. So I took that out. And I'm going to have it professionally installed Perfect. because I like to have the wires all hidden. Yes. So Flushed you don't. And yes. Yeah. You don't need to actually have your dash cams professionally installed if you don't want to. They're plug and play. But if you want to have the wires tucked away, it's yeah. nice to do that. <laughs> also, I like to make sure that I uh, have it directly connected to a permanent power source. Yeah. So because you don't some, have to do those like uh, power banks and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. or sometimes you plug it into the uh, cigarette lighter, which is fine. But then I've had situations where somebody will unplug it to charge your phone yeah. and boom, that's when you needed the dash cam and there's no power. I see. So aside from that, any future plans of mods like the shoes? Of course. I mean, you know, it's shoes, right? The women got their bags yes. and uh, <laughs> men, our shoes are usually on our cars. Yeah. So the pound for pound best upgrade I can always suggest for your car if you want to individualize mm -hmm. it, make it your own signature on the road. Uh, definitely a pair of shoes really speak volumes about your car. And of course, the matching rim set. So I haven't chosen the rims yet. Okay. I have chosen the tires already. So I'm Shout getting outs. a set of federal tires yeah. because I think they're very well priced and mm -hmm. a great value for money. So I can afford to even go an inch or two higher. Yes. So they're already on 18s, which is staggering when you consider what 18s yeah. were even <laughs> five years ago. Yeah. That was like a bling ride already. Now it's just common on your compact SUV. So I'll see if we can go up until the 20s, but no guarantees because there's always yeah. going to be some kind of compromise and trade-off. It's trade -off. a weighing performance, always. foggy points. Sound, sound comfort, yeah. etc. So weigh it out. Okay. Um, as you know, we're from autoinducer.com. Mm -hmm. And our editor- Love the site. Yeah, I love the you. site. Shout out to Vincent Brent. Speaking of Vince, our editor-in-chief, uh, mm. wanted to give you something. Oh, no. So okay, I'm nervous. If you want to I'm nervous, especially this. if it's in front of cameras. Yes. What, what is this? So what's the uh, story <laughs> why he would give you something like Where's that? Where's Vince? Where's, which one's Vince here? <laughs> there. Oh, God. oh, man, Vince. 
You're never going to let me live this down, are you? Okay, all right, fine. There is a backstory with this. I'm keeping this, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember when Vince first started in the industry. I brought mm -hmm. him into the industry yep. in the magazine, and uh, I gave him a ride home in my 1992 GLI Corolla. Wow. I was so proud of it at the time, right? And um, yeah, he jumped in, and he was looking around, because it's fairly new, new old, yeah. Bagong Luma. And he opened up the glove box, and a cockroach jumped out at him. <laughs> That's why. Ah, we're all, everyone's a man until that cocker starts flying. And Vince, Sleepest, <laughs> sleepest the you don't want me to share your story of his reaction <laughs> on uh, camera, but my God, he was so traumatized by that. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I thought, I know where he's going with this. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm no, keeping it, man. You're keeping it. That's for you. Expensive prop. Um, other than that, thank you so much for having us, despite the rain and, you know, time to straight. I know it's you're a busy man. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> um, any shout outs to sponsors like Federal? I want to well, say thank you. Uh, well, I, I haven't gotten Federals yet, but mm. um, yeah, no, I just, just, no, nothing sponsored here today. So okay. um, this, this is just a choice that I made because I, I think a lot of people were asking why MG, you know, mm -hmm. it's so, there's so many other brands to choose from now. Yeah. Um, to answer that question, it's I like what not everybody has. I place value on that. Yes. Remember, car ownership, it's very individual. And these are expressions of who you are. It's a mechanical expression of who you are. So if you're an enthusiast like ourselves over yeah. here, you wanted to say something about you. I'm not nothing against uh, the top leading brands or top leading for a reason. Mm -hmm. But that means because everyone also has them. These are kind of uh, half British like myself as yeah. well. So it speaks about that. And you don't see so many of them on the road, although mm -hmm. they're getting more and more popular. Yeah. And the value for money it represents is great. So that's why I went with it. And uh, it's got a five-year warranty. So yeah. I shouldn't have to worry for about, so, I usually keep my cars for about that time. Perfect. Uh, social media. James All right. Uh, yeah, just pop on to uh, James Deacon on Facebook or Deaconitis on Instagram. And uh, that will take care of you from there. All right. James, thank you so much for <laughs> I'm <us>. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Didn't realize it was downwind. <laughs> it was, sorry. That was for Vince. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for okay. having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. James Egan and his new MGHS 1.5 Trophy Edition. This is Nico Villegas of AutoIndustria.com.